if I'm seeing clinically that my problem is that my sevens are not in line with the sixes, I need a picture to show that. So if my traditional side view doesn't get to the sevens, I need to angle my camera in such a way to be able to get to the seven. Does that make sense? So if I don't have a picture that shows the seven, then I'm trying to say a story that my picture doesn't tell the story. So let's say next appointment, I tell you bracket the seven. Your next appointment visit uh, picture needs to show that bracketing. Okay, imagine if you don't, you just take a traditional side view, you miss the seven. Oh, Dr. Melton, I bracketed the seven. Uh, can I see it? Please make sure the pictures tell a story. Because then an appointment after that, we want to see was that seven leveled. Okay, you can see from this picture because the picture does tell the story. It's angled specifically to show you the seven level. And now we have a gap between the six and the, uh, sorry, the upper and the lower seven. Okay. So what do you think we're watching to see will happen at the next visit? We want the upper to erupt. Again, the picture should tell the story. Boom. And look at the first picture on the left and the last one on the right. Do you see how we are telling a story even without me narrating what happened? If I show you this sequence, this is how you truly level the curve of speed. Get sixes and sevens level, let the upper erupt. Guess what? Without even bracketing the upper seven. Woohoo!